Good morning everybody. How we doing today? I actually don't know what's going on right here, but decided it was a good time to turn the camera on. They're telling everybody to go to the beach road this morning. Things were a little backed up. I've been sitting for about five minutes. Obviously it looks like some sort of wreck, but I'm not quite sure. That's exactly what it was. Three cars over there on the uh, on the tow truck. So I guess we'll begin this journey on the beach road. Here's Black Pelican Seafood. Right across the street from that is Hurricane Moe's. Been to Black Pelican a few times. Been a while. All right. That makes the beach road a little busy this morning. I see a long line behind me from where people turned off early when they saw the wreck. But I'll take in the beauty of Kitty Hawk here while I'm at it. Hope everybody's okay from the wreck. Like I said, they had about three cars on the tow trucks. And once again, I did not turn the camera on just because there was something going on. I was just at a stopping point and it gave me time to get the camera hooked up. Passing by all the empty vacation homes. Our bank's got back chilly again. We're in the lower, I would say upper 40s right now, lower 50s. Not too, too cold, but still a little chilly when that wind starts hitting you. Let's go let you guys soak in the ride here because there isn't tons of stuff to narrate in Kitty Hawk. Nothing but sand dunes, beach, vacation homes. There are people that live on the in-between streets here. What we would call the east side of the highway and the sound side is considered the west side of the highway. I would say the majority of people that live here live on the west side bumped up next to the sound whereas the beach side is mostly vacation. Homes, tourist homes. Making that slow ride to work this morning. That's okay because I prefer the beach road anyway. We've got Awful Arthur's up here on the right side here, right here on the beach road. They've been around for a very long time. They got an oyster bar inside. And right across the street is Avalon Pier. Avalon Pier has also added in a bar inside. It used to be all arcades, but they have added actually two bars inside Avalon. They have one downstairs when you just go in right before you walk onto the pier and you can get a bite to eat there as well. And they also have built a deck on top of the pier. So there's a big overlook with a bar right on top of the water. I'm not sure if they are a full bar. I doubt it. Normally it's hard to get a liquor license when you're on top of the water like that because they don't want glass bottles somehow or another ending up in the ocean. And most of the times, if you go to a bar that's close to the beach, you're going to get a canned drink, canned beverage versus a glass bottle. There is also a lot of restaurants out here that have joined the program. They have paper straws as their sipping straw. And the reason for that is because there is a Save the Turtles program and a lot of restaurants out here participate in that. That way the wrappers and the straws that are not composable, decomposable, excuse me, don't end up in the ocean. Outer Banks is very good about keeping their beaches clean. They take pride in it. There's actually a lot of local restaurants that are on another program. Not just restaurants, but other businesses. You can adopt a beach access and keep it clean and maintained. The only reason I know about that is because my restaurant that I work at participates as well as their old sister restaurant as well as a few other restaurants that I know participate in that and I'm sure there's businesses all over the beach that participate and basically you take you and your crew, your employees out there uh, once a week, once a month and do your part and just pick up litter, anything you might see to keep your beach access cleaned an excellent program if I must say so myself because if you ever been to a dirty beach it just doesn't hit the same right here we got the days in one of the oldest days ins around still got that old school feel to it I would say Kill Double Hills has probably the most beach accesses throughout Kitty Hawk they have beach accesses but there's no parking at the beach accesses in Kitty Hawk there isn't so I don't think there's a single one that you can park in but here in Kill Double Hills, all the beach accesses are a parking lot. And there's also beach accesses in Nags Head, but I 
don't think there as is as many as there is in Kill Devil Hills. Still on the Kill Devil Hills Beach Road, taking that slow cruise to work. I think it'll be just fine. We're slow enough right now where a couple minutes isn't gonna hurt me. I'll still be able to get my tasks done for the day. All right, I'm actually gonna hop back on the highway just because it is just a little faster. And that wreck put me a few minutes behind. I know that's not my fault, but I still like to be somewhat punctual. Keep my work ethic sharp. Got people out here walking out and about on this chilly day. Looks like I'm gonna be sitting here for just a minute. Also didn't realize they were doing one lane, so that's gonna hold me up too. It is what it is. I'm just gonna have to tell them when I get there that I was on an obstacle course this morning. And it's like that sometimes. But as I stated in another video, they wrote an article about how they expect to be finished with all this road work and construction by summertime 2024. Originally, I thought there wasn't that much traffic out here, but I am mistaken. There is plenty of traffic on this road. All right, I see my shot. I'm gonna take it. Merge onto the highway here. All right, one lane here in Kill Double Hills Highway. Uh, looks like they should be finishing up though. They've done all the paving. Funny story that's been going around on the Outer Banks. Because of all this construction and painting and paving, when they redid the lines over by the Nags Head Elementary School, the person that painted the word school on the school zone messed up and he put the C and the H backwards. So that's been the funny talk of the town for the past about two weeks. They have fixed it since, but it was a little funny hiccup for the past, for about two days. I don't think I've seen a post get shared like that about the Outer Banks in quite some time. It went damn near viral. Whoever that, that painted the words wrong, I'm sorry, you have to go what you're going through right now. I'm sure you've caught hell over that one. And this is one of those instances where I came back to the highway to try to get to work a little faster. It's still just going slow. I'm really just going the same speed limit that I was going on the beach road. Everybody's taking their time this morning, but that's okay. I'm not a road rager. Be there when I be there. And of course, the difference between the highway and the beach road, there is two total traffic lights on the entire beach road. And that's from Kitty Hawk all the way to Hatteras. The only other light would be the light that you would need to take the left to go towards Hatteras. But there is one right there at the Collington intersection. And then there's another one on the street in front of Ramada, right behind McDonald's. Two total traffic lights on the beach road so if you come back to the highway you take the chance just like now getting stopped at every red light all right guys i got my breakfast with me and i'm trying to shove it in my face before i get to work and i don't want you guys here hear me chomping on my gums and trying to narrate at the same time so that's all i got for this one thanks for watching thanks for riding see you on the next one